Hey man, it's day one in Munich. Tomorrow gonna be the Palace workshop. I just checked into the hotel, man. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of bought out and shit. Bro, that's the view right here. You can't even see it. There it is. I'm just about to cook up. You feel me? I'm hella hyped for the workshop tomorrow. It's about to be crazy. I don't really know how to feel about it. Mom, I ain't even process it. I feel like, cause you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of like meeting my, one of my idols in a way. And Gumball gonna be there too. And some other people, so it's about to be crazy. Also linking up with all those producers, like... Man, I'm talking too much. Let's get into the cook-up right now. Hotel cook-up. Let's get it! I think I'm gonna use like a sample for once, bro, cause like... Making like melodies without a MIDI keyboard for me, bro. It's like, like the worst, to be honest. I might make a sample later, but sit, you know what I'm saying? I got so many fire samples right now, so let's use them. I think that's pretty much it, a little 10 minute beat bro, I'ma just try to make a melody right now, you feel me? A little normal ass beat.
This one start with a test. Air Force One, you a gem. Don't you bunch of spins. Hey, shit. Tell me what you're for and again. Oh man, it's day two right now. In like an hour, the workshop starts. So oh shit, I'm just hella excited right now. Hella hyped, to be honest. I just gotta get there now. And like after uh, I come back to the hotel, I'm gonna say something about it. So shit, you know what I'm saying? Stick to the video. And like the fucking video too. And subscribe if you fuck with that view, bro. <laughs> Now, I wasn't really filming a lot during the workshop yesterday. Y'all yeah, saw like some Insta shit, the pictures. You feel me? Like you wasn't allowed to film during this during the actual workshop and like in the pauses. I was like, you know, ready, like talking to the people networking and like filming. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. But I'ma just I'ma just tell y'all some shit, man. First of all, bro, this shit was worth every single cent or penny or whatever the fuck your currency is. Like, man, I never spent money like that and like, you know, was so satisfied with the shit I got from it, you know what I'm saying? But to be honest with that, I already knew a lot of things. He's still saw his sauce, obviously, you know what I'm saying? But. I learned some things, I ain't gonna lie, I learned some things that definitely gonna improve my melodies. One thing that really helped me is he said, don't put basses in your melodies. And that's, I always been putting like basses in my melodies just because they sound so good with it. Like, don't use them all the time, cause I be using them all the time, but it's like, it makes sense, but I was like still saying like, fuck it, but he said that's like a big mistake, so I ain't doing that no more, to put basses in the melody. Cause then, you know, they gotta cut it out or like if they gonna wanna add their own shit, like it's just a little messed up. Yeah, man. Other than that, I also learned a lot of shit business-wise, kind of in a sense, you feel me? Everything is not that complicated as it is, you know what I'm saying? Like even if you like a small kid that just has some type of problems, you know what I'm saying? Like your sample being stolen or like whatever it may be. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could still get a fucking lawyer. Like it's not like money ain't a problem with that you feel me like money is like just find a lawyer and if it's cool to him and to most it's cool like you just give him like a a little part of uh the royalties you get um or like the money you get from the song and then you don't have to pay him like 250 500 per hour like for entertainment lawyer there's also menju there he's like a mixing a recording engineer or type of shit he was telling a little bit how like he mixed in like German vocals which was kind of helpful like I liked his approach I already knew a lot of shit he was talking about but it's, it was still nice seeing his approach you know what I'm saying 
Tina shit they using. Like I made a whole, you know what I'm saying? I, I wrote down a whole lot they were saying. Like basically almost everything that was like helping me. Even shit I knew I was like, do that more and shit, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all want a video of me where I like go through these things, you know what I'm saying? Or go through a few of them. Damn, go through a few of them. You know what I'm saying? Let me know because I'm gonna make a video like that. But if y'all can catch a workshop like this, definitely go there, bro. Yeah, man. And another thing that was also very helpful for me is like, you know what I'm saying? To hear him say that like, you really gotta do this shit for real. If you're in the club, you know what I'm saying? Like on Friday, Saturday, you are doing this shit for real, you know what I'm saying? If you're investing too much with girls, you are doing this shit for real, you know what I'm saying? If you're having too much fun, you are doing this shit for real. And I've been knowing that, you feel me? But it's like hearing him say it, it's like it kind of like engraved it in my brain, bro. And what helped me a lot too was uh, him like reviewing this shit, you know, he picked 15 people he would review shit from. He would only like accept the MP3s, like you could send a little uh, email and uh, during the workshop, you know what I'm saying? He had like 10 minutes. I didn't know, like I was not prepared bro, I didn't have like the perfect beat to send to him uh, Cause I wanted to send like a melody but all, all my melodies were all in waves so You know, you could only send it for freeze cause uh, the waves are too big for like uh, the email So I just sent a random beat bro, I just like listened to five beats You know what I'm saying, just pick one that I fuck with, you know what I'm saying and they were, they were definitely fucking with the beat, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people were asking like, tell us for beat advice And it was like, bro, tell us you really can't make no crazy ass beats Like, come on now, you feel me? But, you know, Gumboy is definitely, he's like definitely musical And he caught a vibe, you know what I'm saying? He caught a vibe with my beat, he, he said that shit He was like vibing out too, you know what I'm saying? He also started freestyling, so He was definitely fucking with the beat, they said it was definitely Good beat, you know, simple beat, it was nice, you know what I'm saying, I ain't overcomplicating shit um, And it was definitely placeable, I said, you know what I'm saying, it's, I wouldn't beat like Drake Hop on that easily, you know what I'm saying, so I mean, I also made some nice contacts, you feel me, let's see where like, that, all these things go They made like a whole WhatsApp group with all people in it, that should be weird as hell Cause I ain't gonna count, a lot of people there were weird as fuck, like Man, it's the, a lot of people were weird, bro, like Man this is a very good experience, you know, the whole trip, you know what I'm saying, just to get out of my comfort zone, I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of starstruck, man, <laughs> I was kind of starstruck, bro, when I asked a question, I was like, when I asked that one question, I didn't know, like, I messed up, bro, I couldn't talk, bro, but other than that, man, he fuck with my shit, he fuck with other people's shits, too, I ain't gonna lie, it was a mid-beat I sent in, and, like, the thing I really... That really got me excited is that Gumbo really felt that, you know what I'm saying? He said he caught a vibe to it, and that's like the most important thing if like artists hear it. And Gumbo is an artist, you know what I'm saying? And he the most musical person out of them. So it's like, you know, like I thought I would get like crazy business advice. And like, you know, I would really like learn a lot there. And I did, but not in the way I thought, you know, because I was like, he don't, you know, he basically said like he isn't like, responsible for the business like you know that like his manager doing all that and shit and as like a musician as somebody who does music like you shouldn't really be worrying about that shit and like i already said you know just get a lawyer like even if you don't have no money like you can still figure it out somehow and the other thing is like when it comes to like negotiating prices and shit also really don't do that shit yourself like this kind of fake a manager so like just get your homie who isn't like stupid you know Act like he your manager and just just give him something because first of all like it's great you know what I'm saying to put your homies on and get get your homies some money and second of all that's that's just way more professional. Let's say like you saying you want 500 for a beat right but, like if you sell an exclusive and then say the artist doesn't want to pay 500 he say like some way lower like 200 let's say so then it's like a problem because like what is you gonna do now like you know what I'm saying you. He probably not gonna use your shit. Like it's kind of weird now to like negotiate it, cause like you know what I'm saying. Like you want five hundred, you want two hundred. Like what you gonna do? Like say like four hundred. You know it's not really gonna work. You know just bring a manager in, even if it's like a fake manager. I gotta ask my manager about it. You know what I'm saying? And then like hit him back saying like my manager like say like I can't charge under like uh, four hundred or something or under like three fifty. And then if he still ain't cool with it, you know what I'm saying? 
you just let the rapper or whoever you're talking to, whoever you're negotiating with, just talk to your homie, like, on some manager shit. You know what I'm saying? I can, like, let you talk with my manager, you know? Then it's, like, way more professional and way more distinctive. And it's like not so weird, like we're just like negotiating with an artist like that. You feel me? And there are so many ways in this music shit to make money. Like you can like get your beats beats placed in like games and shit. You also make good money and like you know advertisements, TV, all that. Like getting beats there, very lucrative. If you have if you sell kids, that should go crazy. If you have a YouTube uh, um, channel, like you have a YouTube channel with 20k and like still make like 30k a month off that shit. See me? Yeah, man. I talked for a long time, but the second thing that you know, I didn't thought I would uh, get away with you now after the workshop is I really just like lost like almost all of my anxiety, bro. Like I never had so much anxiety that it was never like such a weird feeling than you know being there. Like the whole thing, I was like. Like some something in me didn't want to be there. Like some something in me just wanted to be at the hotel again and sit. Yeah, man. Like I said, I'm just gonna enjoy the the last day here. Gonna get back. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go crazy. Like I said, watch my next cookouts. You know what I'm saying? Watch my next cookouts. I'm about to spill some sauce there. And if y'all really want the fucking video of me where I go through all the notes I made or do a few notes I made and really just so a bunch of cool shit like let me know for real like i would i would do it but i ain't gonna lie i would i would drop some so crazy gems that's good